The University of Hawaii Rainbow Warrior football team struggled this past weekend in Wyoming. Uh, look, I know people are gonna make excuses for them, weather, uh, altitude, road, all this stuff. I even spoke to Steven Sai, had an interview with him, uh, which we're gonna get into. Uh, and I asked him a few things. I asked him, asked him if he thought the weather was an issue. Um, but at the end of the day, I like what Coach Todd Graham said. He said, look, we can't make excuses. I'm not going to make excuses. It's not about the weather. It's not about the road. That's part of it. It's football. You got to deal with it. Uh, I like that mindset. You know, we don't want to create excuses because they're going to be on the road again. And they're going to play in, in that you know, uh, they're going to come into that situation again in the future. So you can't, you can't play football that way, right? So uh, I love that approach. And with that, let's, uh, let's jump on into this interview that I had with Steven Sai. Sai, thank you so much again for uh, joining the CO2 Rundown today. We're going to recap, you know, the UH football game uh, against Wyoming. Uh, but before we do so, I got to give a shout out to Hawaiian Telecom, you know, one of our sponsors uh, for making this show possible. Uh, I'm repping, you know, the, the, the UH Warrior Hawaiian Telecom sort of band here for this interview. Well, I like the island chain on the side. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, we got, we got it all. We're repping. We're repping all the way. And, hey, look, check this out, though. I don't know if you noticed it. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Game. <laughs> anyway, let's talk game, Stephen. Um, okay, what is your biggest takeaway from – the Wyoming game? Well, I just think it's tough to win on the road and it's tough to win uh, when you're playing at 7,200 uh, feet above sea level and you've been up on the top when um, it, it's hard. And I think that was the problem with um, the second possession uh, for UH where um, Chevron Cordero was trying to throw a pass and the ball kind of slipped out of his hands. And as you know, when you get to um, high altitude, sometimes your hands dry out and things slippery. And I think they had to make a little bit of adjustment there because it's not easy playing where the ball can fly and your hands are dry. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and like with, uh, you know, higher altitude comes less oxygen, right? Yeah. So, you know, uh, I've, I've sort mm -hmm. of been there in those types of environments. It's, uh, it, you don't have, you just don't have enough time to, to, to really make, make the adjustments. You know, you're there for a few days and your body just, it's hard to make that adjustment. So at the end of the day, it's like, you know, you got to, you got to make the plays when you have the opportunity to, and you got to try to try your best to make those games time. Uh, what were the problems that they had? Uh, was the was, cold uh, really an issue for the boys? It wasn't an issue really during the game, but it was in, um, an issue trying to prepare for the game um, right before the, um, so after the Fresno game, then they went to Denver, but then a big snowstorm hit. So um, two of their walkthrough practices were actually indoors in the hotel. And then the third practice um, they were going to, they scheduled that on an outside field. But um, it was all snow covered. They couldn't dig it out in time and everything. So they ended up renting a, um, an indoor facility. So they just didn't have a lot of time to practice in the conditions they were going to be playing in. Right. Yeah. And that definitely, you know, on the road, like you said, it's already tough. Uh, and you sprinkle in, you know, a few uh, other pieces of adversity. Uh, but look, let's, let's transition. You know, boys are back home. Uh, we're at home this week. We've got New Mexico. Uh, New Mexico State, right? Uh, New Mexico, oh, just regular oh, New, Mexico. New Mexico. Yeah, New Mexico this week. And, you know, what What can we expect from, from New Mexico? Well, first of all, it's going to be kind of an interesting deal. The defensive coordinator for uh, New Mexico is um, uh, Rocky Long. He used to be the head coach at San Diego State the last few years. He resigned from there, goes back to New Mexico where he sort of started a little bit of his career, and now is the defensive coordinator. So it's kind of interesting that he's going to bring that fast-paced uh, um, attacking defense that San Diego State was known for the past few years to New Mexico. And the other thing is um, uh, New Mexico's got a really elusive, interesting quarterback. His, uh, his name is Tavaka Tuioti. He may or may not be related to Tony Tuioti because Tony seems to have a lot of family everywhere, but he's a really <laughs> big, elusive guy. And, uh, you know, he's, he's tough. And, and the third thing was is that um, uh, New Mexico, because of the big COVID problems they're having in um, the uh, New Mexico area and everything, um, uh, they are going to be setting up their um, training and uh, preparing for this game in Las Vegas, which is the ninth mm -hmm. island. So maybe you got to add that to your uh, your uh, headband there. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. And you know, I'm sorry, Stephen. There was a little bit of a, okay. uh, a stutter, <laughs> stutter there in the in the connection. Uh, hopefully, we got that. But what what Steve is saying is New Mexico had to make an adjustment and move to Vegas for this week. Is that what you, is that correct? Yeah, to prepare. So they, they are yeah. stationed in Las Vegas. 
Yeah. Which, that's not a bad place to spend if you uh, need a whole week. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, again, we talk about distractions, you know, Vegas could, could provide some of that, but um, all right. We, we are, we're at home. I talked about it. You know, typically we, we play well at home, but yep. there's not, there's not going to be any fans in the stands. Um, not real fans, right? Not real fans. We, we got, we got to have an opportunity to have cardboard fans. Uh, yes. What, what are your thoughts there? Well, um, it, it was kind of impressive in Fresno uh, when they played it because um, they had cardboard fans in the end zone and then they pumped in some music. I think it's uh, music and crowd noise at 70 uh, decibels. So it felt like, I mean, it was an empty stadium, but kind of made it look like, at least on TV, that there were some people there. It'd be kind of interesting to see how it works and how many people buy cardboard cutouts. Uh, it's a pretty good deal that you can get them. And, and you know, hey, you know, it's, let's make a nice little Christmas gift later, if, you know. Yeah, little, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get one. I think mm-hmm. I need to be in the stands and supporting, even if it's, you know, a cardboard version. Uh, I definitely want to. You wanna... can get many. You could be all over the stands. You can be. <laughs> can you I, can be Forrest I... Gump, man. You could be everywhere. Can I get on the sideline, Steve, with the cardboard? You can, you can, do, you can put it anywhere. Your chat always, you can get on the sideline. There's no <laughs> all right, man. What are some of the, uh, well, what's the main adjustment you think the boys need to make coming into this game? Well, I think just being home is going to feel a lot better. They, you know, the, you open the um, the season with two road games and a really short uh, because they put together the season kind of quickly. So they only had really three weeks of practices, maybe five or six in full pads, and then you go on the road in really adverse conditions. So I think they're going to feel a lot more comfortable at home. And I think it's going to. Uh, Todd Graham is always talking about trying to start up this really fast, accelerated um, offense where you want to get maybe um, up to ninety plays a game. Uh, they only well, have, uh, I think they have like 54 of the past game. So I think, you, I think they'll see a faster offense. And if Hawaii can play faster, especially against the Mexico team that's been traveling a lot and has been training somewhere they're not used to, I think there'll be a difference. So it's, I think being at home and just being able to run the offense that they want to run. Yeah, no, that's amazing. I'm looking forward to it. And it sounds like New Mexico's, New Mexico, excuse me, is in the same boat that, that, that UH was the past couple of weeks, right? Yeah. Uh, facing some adversity. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to uh, to this week's game. You know, I know the boys are going to be fired up. They're at home. First one of the season at home. And, um, yeah, I'm going to be in the stands, the cardboard version. So I can't wait. <laughs> All right, take care, Chad.